The oscillator is the very beginning of your sound. Very fast, slower as it gets lower. Get modular. Hi and welcome to Get Jervis Gets Modular at Toman Synthesizers. I'm Jason Jervis and today we're going back to the absolute basics, to the starting blocks of what synthesis is in modular terms. So if you know a thing or two about synthesis already, you might want to skip this one to the next couple that is in the series to something different. Anyway, if not, stay tuned. It's going to be informative and kind of easy to digest. So fast food synthesis while you wait. So in this episode, we're going to look at the oscillator. The oscillator is the very beginning of your sound. It is that which creates the tone to which you then sculpt with the other modules. Well, we're going to look at this analog oscillator here, which has four distinct waveforms. Now, each waveform gives you a different tone. Instead of you waffling on about what they are, I'm going to let your ears hear them. First of all, the sine wave. This is the wiggly worm. Very smooth and very soft waveform. And it sounds like this. Soft, round, lots of subby bass sounds. You can fatten up a sound by adding a, a, a sine wave as well. It's a nice, really good utility waveform. Okay, this gets slightly distorted, and the next waveform we're going to listen to is the triangle waveform. Again, very similar in characteristics, but it's slightly, uh, slightly sharper. Going up a notch is the ramp or saw tooth, and now this is a lot more harsh. Uh, very brassy in tone, that one. And finally, the square or pulse. Very hollow sounding. The pulse is slightly different to the other waveforms in that you can actually narrow the width. So let's have a listen to what that sounds like. Picking a... to nothing. That's what the various waveforms in, an, in a standard analog oscillator sound like. Now you heard me changing the pitch of that. That's done with control voltage or CV in modular terms, one volt per octave. The um, frequency, that's the oscillation, hence the name oscillator, of the waveform speeds up as you get higher and slows down as you get lower. So very fast. lower as it gets lower. That really is the job of the oscillator. Quite simply, to take your waveform, to oscillate it, and to change its pitch to provide you with a musical tone. So that was an analog oscillator. There are also digital oscillators. Now, digital oscillators can do things that an analog oscillator can't. We've got the Mutable Instruments Platz here, which is a very fine digital oscillator. Now, that has a sine wave. That's a slightly more pure, kind of almost uh, cleaner sound than the analog. Let's just compare it. Digital. Analog. Softer, slightly duller in tone with the analog. Anyway, the fun doesn't stop there with digital. You can change the harmonic content. You can change the timbre. And you can change the, the morphability, the movement of that as well. And that's, that really is kind of gnarly. Let's play our sequence.
bring in the analog. Change frequency modulation. No. Back to digital. And again, it doesn't stop there. Digital, that's kind of obviously just one aspect of the plats. There are a multitude of waveforms and different things you can do with it. I'm not going to go into that in this because this is just to show you what these things are capable of. The wavetable oscillator is quite complex in that it's a expanded waveform that varies over time. So your waveform changes over the duration of the key press, making it a continually morphing sound. Um, and with things like the, uh, the Waldorf NW1 wavetable module, you can actually input your own wavetables. That's quite exciting. There's also a lot of other kind of interesting oscillators out there as well. An honorable mention definitely goes to Radical Technologies Swarm Oscillator, which is again a continually morphing, uh, very musical oscillator that shows two oscillators and you can make chords and all sorts of crazy things and it gets really, really intense very quickly. So if you wanna go and search some demos on that, I recommend you do that. And then there's the sampler, which takes an audio recording of whatever and pitches it across a keyboard. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that introduction to the oscillator. Next, we are going to look at the filter, so do stay tuned for that little video. Remember to like, subscribe, share, and enjoy. Until the next time, get modular.